Good evening, everyone, and hello from Holman High School. It is level one of the WIAA Boys Football Playoffs here tonight, Cade. It's football weather, and we are getting ready for Holman versus Central. So the margins are slim when you come into playoffs. The, the, the errors are put under a microscope, Cade. What are you looking for here tonight? Well, first, I'm ready to see how these teams play with a little bit cooler weather. We haven't had this cool of weather. It plays the factors, especially in a heavy-hitting game like this. And margins for error, yeah, you... You make a mistake beginning of the year, you cost you a game, you can make up for it. Here you make a mistake now, it costs you a game and your season's over. So you really got to be on top of your X's and O's and really have it down bat. Yeah, those uh, mistakes are going to hopefully be few and far between for these coaches' sakes uh, for looking at this game. But talking about this game specifically, hey, this is the second meeting this year between these two teams. You were at the first one. A couple absences uh, from players in that one. Uh, what are you looking forward to tonight here in this specific matchup? I'm interested how Holman comes out and attacks offensively they got off to an early lead which uh, helps them in their offense but Central was able to battle back and take a lead and Holman without their lead running back Jack Barth I mean he was out for that game against Central he has over 1100 yards on the season and 13 touchdowns so he's a difference maker and hopefully he'll be on the field tonight and we'll really see uh, what he can bring to this team yeah Central won that game uh, a few weeks ago so they'll be looking for that same result Holman looking for a different one elsewhere tonight we've got lots of other games as well we've got some upset chances and some teams that are trying to not get upset as well how focused do those teams need to still be this is playoffs I mean it's we've got a lot of teams trying to they've got high expectations West Salem for example high expectations been one of the top teams in division four all season long but now they're a three seed and they've got some work to do on that side of the bracket also going to be looking at division seven I mean we've got so many teams in division seven a lot of them might not be happy with their seeding but hey you've got to win all of your games if you want to make it to that state final so it'll be see how, interesting how, to see how it turns out